Okay, we're gonna be doing a llama, so you need to be using the blue paint to paint the entire canvas blue. Please make sure you don't forget there's a top, there's a side, there's a bottom, there's another side. So you have to flip it around to get all those sides painted with all the blue paint. So make sure that you're using the big red brush and the blue paint. So you will be picking up your chalk and please remember we're gonna be pausing every time I finish a shape. So just bear with me. And if you need to erase the chalk off your canvas, please let me know. Now you're gonna pick up your big red brush. You're gonna be dipping it into the white paint and we are gonna be painting the llama's body. Please pay attention, we're gonna be doing the neck and the head, but then we're also doing parts of the ears. One part of the ear will be white, one part will be pink. So please watch as I paint the llama with a white paint and big red brush. Now we're switching to the small red brush in the pink paint. We're gonna paint the other side of the ear. So get your pink paint, dip it with your red small brush and paint the top part of the ear with your pink paint. Still using the small red brush, you're gonna use your red paint and we're gonna paint the party hat, not the top of the party hat, just the party hat with the red paint. Now that it is blow dried, we're gonna switch to the small green brush and you have a few colors on your palette you can use. First is gonna be painting the top part of your party hat. So please make sure you pick one of the colors to paint that. And then the other colors we're gonna to use to paint the little part that's going around its neck. These are triangles. You're gonna use your small green brush and you're going to paint a triangle. Then make sure you switch colors so you're gonna to have to wash your brush off and go to another new color and paint a triangle touching that one. You are painting triangles going across the neck one way, and then as you will watch, I will do it across the neck the other way. Switching colors every single time, you are painting another triangle. So you will get to pick which colors in which order. We are still using this small green brush and we're gonna make gray, which means you need to take a little black and a little white and mix it together on your palette. The gray is gonna be used to create the snout. So you're gonna take your gray and your small green brush, draw a small oval and then paint it in gray. Then above that, you're gonna be adding the top parts of your eyes, the eyelids. 
so they are a half circle. So you're gonna draw a half circle on the left, draw a half circle on the right, and you will be using the gray to paint them in. This is the top part of the eye. Once you've rinsed off the gray, we're gonna use the same small green brush, get it dry. We are gonna be using the black. Please make sure that all the water's off the brush because you don't want black to drip. You're gonna take the black paint and you're gonna draw a small little nose right in the middle. It's like a heart shape. Under the heart, you're gonna curve to the left, curve to the right. That is what you're doing with the black paint and small green brush. Tracing the snout, which is the oval. Then you're gonna draw the other part of the eye under the gray. And then you're gonna trace the eyelid and add your eyelashes coming off your llama's eyes. Small green brush, black paint is what you're doing, the eyes with. So make sure you get all the water off the paintbrush or this black paint will drip. Then inside that eye that you've added to the bottom of the gray, you're gonna be adding a black dot for the eyeball. Now moving to the rest of the llama, you're using the small green brush and the black paint to outline the party hat, the ears, the head, the neck. So using your small green brush and your black paint, you're gonna finish outlining the lines of your llama. And do not forget the last detail is adding your initials to the bottom corner of your llama paper. So please make sure that you're not writing your name across the llama, but just your initials in the bottom corner.